So just on that leverage point, um, you're absolutely right about the size and kind of weight of London, both as a financial centre, but also as a legal centre, mm. as generally a services hub, and its importance to the EU. The problem from a leverage standpoint is that in a way the EU gets to manage its own, how it weans itself off that if it chooses to do so. If you look at a lot of the steps the EU took, announced in preparation for no deal, mm. there was a consistent pattern <coughs> of manage the immediate shock, so allow things in the short term, um, like elements of passporting, and then say, look, sure, you can continue as you are now, or you can only move, indiv say, individual officers over to mainland Europe, but you need to present us within 12 months of a plan for how you're going to draw off. So the size and weight of London, um, while it could create a very sharp shock for the EU, the EU can decide not to have that shock and instead gradually try to draw some of those very lucrative services providers in the headquarters mm -hmm. away from London and into Europe in a way that kind of avoids what would otherwise happen if there was an abrupt shift. Um, so that dilutes the leverage a bit. I think it would depend. So that would be an advantage if you were trying to attract businesses, if you were trying to attract basically customers interested in your service to their third countries, or say your services into say Africa. But in terms of businesses like many Australian businesses which headquarter in the UK in order to provide services into the EU as a kind of base for the EU, then actually a divergence from their regulations would either force those companies to adopt EU regulations anyway, or to conform to them, um, or it would create confusion. So there's there's advantages and disadvantages to it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more trade explainers or in some trade policy or negotiations training for your organisation, please check out my website, explaintrade.com. I also tweet at Demetrio Pines. Until next time, everyone.